everyone. I'm going to talk about the back cough today. What is this? The principle of breaking a cough is insert a second series of either weft or rope thread to increase the thickness and warmth, and it won't affect the smooth surface. They have two types of back cough. If you're breaking the rope thread, then it is a rope back cough. If you back it with the wet fat, then it is a wet back cough. Today we will talk about the wet back cough first. To form a wet back cough, it's composed by two systems of rope and one system of wet. And the face width is formed by face warp and weft, and the back width is formed by the back warp and weft. We can see in this photo, the white yarn is the face, and the gray yarn is the back. And for the cross section, the circle is the weft yarn, while this two yarn is the warp yarn. The back one is the face warp yarn. You can see it down, up, up, down, up, up. And it is interlaced with the weft for the face. Here is the face of the fabric, and here is the back of the fabric. You can see the back warp yarn is interlacing with the weft to form the back. To form a warp back curve, we have few steps. First, we need to select our face width and the back width. The face width should be using a warp face width which more warp yarn on the face, for example, 3 and 1 2, 4 and 1 2, or 5 and 16. You can see this photo is 4 and 1 2, more warp yarn on the face, while the back width, we should be using a web face width, that's more warp yarn on the face, such as 1 and 3 2, 5 and 16. You can see this 5 and 16, have more web yarn on the face. After we select the back width, we need to select the starting point of back width. We need to make sure that the warp fold of the back should be hidden by the fold on the face to have a better appearance. And we need to determine the arrangement of the face and back warp we have few standard orders, one face to one back, two face to one back, three face to one back. And we need to combine the face width and the back width to form the back cuff width. For example, if you have four ends of your face width and four ends of your back width, then the new width we have eight warp ends and the pegs is same with them, 4, so we have a 8 times 4 pen. Now we will draw an example of what back width. With the face width is 3 and 1 2, and the back width is 1 and 3 2. And I use cross to represent the face width, and the back crosses represent the back width. Then we need to select the starting point of back width. If we just combine them together, you may find the back width is not in between the fold of face wall. It cannot be hidden by the long folds. So we need to change the arrangement of this. First, we need to find out the middle point between two face wall. Just like here, you can find this point is between the left and the right face wall. So, the white circle is the new position of the back wall. And we await the starting point of back fabric. Remember, the design is not changed. From here, this 1 and 3 through, 1 of 
three down, one up, three down. And after we change the starting point, it's also one up, one, two, three down, one up, one, two, three down. Now you can see the back width is hidden by the face width. Then we can determine the arrangement of the face and back wall. For this time, I choose one face to one back. So when we combine the face and back width, one face and one back, and we combine them alternately, one face, one back, one face, one back, one face, one back, one face, one back. So we have a repeat size of 8 times 4. And now we insert the face and the back into the new plan. For the first of the face and first of the back and second of the face, second of the back, first of face and back and fourth of face and back. Now the plan is finished. Then we can see the cross section of walk back close together. From this one, two, three, four is the face warp yarn, and this is the back warp yarn. Now we draw the weft yarn onto this. For weft yarn, it's up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay. Then is up for the first warp face and first back and down for the second face but up of the second back and down of the third face and back and down for the fourth warp face but up on the back Okay, this is the web yarn. You see? Okay, now we draw the cross section of the warp yarn. This one, two, three, four is about the pegs. One, two, three, four. Okay, for the first face yarn, we use other color to represent. Okay, the first one is down and then up, up, up. Okay, this is one. Okay, then we use other color, we use a blue color for the back. Okay, two down, one up. Two down, one up. And a down. Okay, then it's the back. Now you can see the cross section and the fabric. After we whipped. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.